What is the crack, lads, and welcome back to another episode. Today, we're taking a look at the best players in all positions for all budgets. We're going to be taking a look at the best right midfielder. So I've broken these down to right midfielders, and we will have a video on right wingers as well, because there's so many class players here that are worth a mention, and they're such completely different positions. So first up, we've got our budget 0 to 5,000 GP player filter. We have got Tela from Southampton, 4,500 GP. Really, really nice. It's not all about pace, I think, but if you are looking for a budget option, you do need to have a lot of these guys that have the pace because that's all they're going to really offer. You're not going to be splitting defenses apart with dribbling like Neymar or dribbling like you know Dembele or somebody like that. You just need to have kind of a very high stat in speed or else dribbling or else passing or else something else that kind of mix it up. So he is a good option there. Next up, we have got Forrest from... Celtic, this guy again, he's got a lovely combination of tight possession, he's got acceleration and speed, now I will, as I said, I keep meaning to do the video on the form, I'll hopefully get that out in the next day or two, or maybe it's out by now by the time of this goes live on YouTube, this guy's form is unwavering, which basically means that he has more of a chance of being up, you know, in, in, um, in like high form arrow when you're playing a matches with him so that he'll have his 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 up arrow so that is very important that i'm going to be focusing on a lot of the players that you're seeing here will have un unwavering form i just didn't really go into the detail in it because you can check out yourself even without that form they're definitely worth buying vishka he is another player as you can see here he's on a rating at the moment he's got unwavering form as well so there's more chance of him being up when the live update does stop in a couple of months time or however they're going to handle that um, I still think that they'll do it some way, but we can we can get into that in the form video. But Vishka, this guy plays for Traspanspor. That is an absolute terrible pronunciation of that, but we gave it a try. Uh, he's 172 cm, not the tallest, but he is very, very good on the ball. Really nice player ID as well. He's got captaincy, fighting spirit, first time shot, double touch, cut behind and turn, long range curler. He's got everything in his bag here. 76 overall for 32,000 GP. Now we're getting to one of my favorite players that I have bought. So if you're watching the other episodes that I have or the series that I have of my Dream Team Chronicle series, you will see Corona, 34,000 GP. This guy is an absolute steal. He's definitely one of the best players that I've played with in eFootball this year. And I've, you know, played with a lot. Neymar, Dembele. Obviously, he doesn't compare with them dribbling wise. But in terms of his player ID, his attack prowess, getting forward, getting into good positions, getting rebounds, this guy can do it all. And for 34,000 GP, he is no longer a hidden gem. A lot of people are buying him because he can play so many positions. Look at that. Literally so many positions. An absolute beast. Lucas Mora. So we're going for we're going for a lot of speed here now, right? We could have gone for Adama Traore, who's obviously a lot faster. We could have gone for other players. Lucas Mora has got two very key stats, I think. If you're looking to replace, right? If you're looking to get... Uh, uh, if you have a right midfielder that's top class, like say you have one of the guys coming up in a minute, or you have somebody that's playing, a right winger that's playing as a um, as a right midfielder or whatever, and you want to just get somebody on the bench for your god squad, Lucas Mora, super sub, he's got unwavering form and he's got bags of pace and dribbling. If you're looking to get like an unbelievable right midfielder, right winger, as a budget squad, this guy is an unreal beast as well. So Correa, so obviously Atletico Madrid's player uh, Correa, he is a really, really good player as well. 78 overall. He's very similar to Lucas Mora, just a little bit more, you know, dribble-centric and not as fast. He does have super sub as well. I think he has un unwavering form as well. Long-range curl, long-range shooting, dipping shot. This guy, you're going to be banging him in from outside the box as a kind of a stunning shot threat. I think he's definitely worth looking at. Now, is he worth 25,000 more compared to Lucas Mora? I would probably say not if you're just looking to get like a really solid right midfielder. I'd still go with Mora unless you can get Saka. So Saka is the only right midfielder that's worth anything over 90,000. He's worth 100,000 GP. The Arsenal man plays way above his stats, right? He's got unwavering form and for a 20-year-old player, that's really, really impressive. He's got offensive awareness, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, low pass, lofted pass and curl all in the 70s, mid to low and then he's got 77 speed, 79 acceleration. You boost him up and progress him, level training him to like 85 acceleration, 85 speed. And his balance up as well. And his dribbling up to 80, you're going to have one of the best wingers slash right midfielders in the game without 
you know, spending 300,000. So he is an absolute beast to keep an eye on. So yeah, lads, that is it. Another quick video here as we take a look at the right midfielders. But who have you signed? Let me know in the comments below who the players you are that your kind of hidden gems are, who are doing it for you on the pitch. Because the stats don't always tell the full story. Otherwise, every player that I pick on this will be just the highest stats per price point. But, you know, the likes of Corona, the likes of Lucas Mora, there are better options there when you look strictly from a stats and on paper. But when you get down to the, the nitty gritty and how they play on the pitch and in training mode with their player ID, their movement style, their animations, everything linked together, they are beasts. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you're enjoying the videos or any suggestions or recommendations or feedback, let me know and I will talk to you later. Peace.